Hello and welcome back gorgeous people. I'm Adam and yes, we are still in the kitchen. So you decide to have a bit of a go at a vegan meal and you've got yourself a slab of tofu. Now, what the hell do you do with it? So there's a bit of a catch up on tofu. It is a bean curd that has been squashed and it's kind of a bit like cheese to be honest. And you have by and large two different types in the UK. We've got the silken type, which you'll quite often find in these little cartons. Um, they are pretty useless for most things, to be honest. Um, I, I'm actually going to use this one to make a bit of a sauce out of. Uh, it's one of the only things I can really think of to do. Uh, maybe a pudding, so I like a, like a mousse pudding or something. But yeah, I don't buy this very often. I just happen to have it. The second type is the firm or extra firm tofu. And that's the one that I mainly buy and really, really like to eat. Tofu Company is the one that I, I personally like. Um, it says that it's extra firm. This is actually the extra large pack because, well, I like extra large. And inside you'll have a, a bag and it is you know, you can really, really give it a good squish and it's not going to just sort of like fall to pieces. You can sit, feel that it's nice and firm. But this still does have liquid inside. So you can use this straight away, but because of all the liquid that's actually already still inside of it, I prefer to give it a good press first. To begin with, I used to use the Jenga tower of pots and pans you might sort of see and I had enough of it. So I had a look around at various presses that I could buy online. And a lot of them were like a screw type, cheese press type thing. And they, they just looked far too much hassle. I had to turn it every 10 minutes and stuff like that. Nah, not having any of that. But I did find one that was absolutely brilliant. It was just what I wanted. And that was the press firm To Future. Uh, it's, it's a nice size plastic one. It can go in the dishwasher, but it's got Elastic bands, really thick, heavy duty elastic bands around the outside. So when you put your tofu in, you can flick over the bands, click it down. So you get this constant pressure always pulling down on it. So you can just leave it in the fridge and it will just do its thing. And when you come back to it, you can just pour out every now and again, the liquors that come out of it. But once you have your pressed tofu, you still need to cook it. You still need to do something to it because tofu by itself doesn't taste, it doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste. <laughs> it, think of it like um, egg whites. It just, there's nothing to it. So we need to add flavor to this. And we can also help to improve the texture a lot more as well. Now I like to bake mine. Um, but also, I like it crispy too. So, I'm going to show you two things that I like to do. So, the one that I like to do the most is baked tofu. It's, it firms up really, really well. It's not crispy, but it gets really firm. And I like to do that in a marinade. I'll use soy sauce, malt vinegar, lemon juice, a bit of garlic and ginger, and just mix that all up a little bit of oil in it just to stop it from sticking when we cook it in the oven and we'll marinate that the best overnight but at least half an hour constantly turning it and we'll bake that at 180 degrees for 20 minutes half hour or however long you desire if you like it firmer go longer if you don't like it as firm go shorter it's already cooked so you can eat it raw so you cook it however long that you feel you want to cook it for. Just keep checking on it. The second method is the crispy tofu. So I can use exactly the same tofu that I've just marinated. I'll dust it in some flour, into some corn flour, and then I'll fry it in an almost smoking hot pan of oil. And it wants to be an, an oil that can have a really high smoke point. So you want your vegetable oil, your rapeseed oil, your sunflower oil, something like that, that you can get really, really hot.
So there we have it. Two of the best ways for cooking tofu. We've got nice, nice, really, really firm baked tofu. <coughs> lots and lots of extra texture and flavor in that. Really, really nice. Very, very firm. And for the crispy tofu. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, it's got a lovely, lovely crust around it. Mm. Wonder if you can hear on the microphone. Very, very nice and crispy. Mmm. And all the marinade gets soaked up into this crust. So it's, it's very, very um, firm and crispy. But inside it's still quite moist. Where the baked tofu is just really firm all the way through. And as you can tell, the, the sizes are a lot different. It's because in the cooking, all that water is driven off of the baked tofu. So it becomes that smaller, denser, firmer. But yeah, those, unlike normally, I'm not gonna be ever um, chowing down on these all. Uh, they're gonna be going into my lunchbox for the next few days uh, with the rest of the packet. Now, if you don't want to do your marinade in a soy sauce base, you can do it with something like Marmite. Just water it down a bit and it adds a real beefy flavor to it. Lots of herbs, lots of seasonings, and you can get this really, really nice sort of beefy flavor. It, it works really, really well. Or you could go down something like a very lemony uh, route and just really experiment I've even used barbecue sauce and just diluted it down a little bit and that works a treat. You get that nice smoky flavor to it as well. Both those are true family favorites with the kids and myself and they are super quick, simple and easy and as soon as you get a hang of press and marinade, you'll be well away with trying all sorts of different flavors. Any sort of marinade will work. The choice is up to you. So please leave your favorite flavors down below in the comments and please like, subscribe, click on the bell icon and I will see you next month. Thank you very much and take care. Hello and welcome Gap. So as a little Super, super dark now. How could rays of light?